Let's find out what happened on September 26th in history. Indian educator and social reformer Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar was born on 26th September in 1820. Vidya Sagar literally means an ocean of learning, a title he received at the Sanskrit College in Calcutta, where he was a brilliant student and later the principal. Vidya Sagar dedicated efforts to legalize widow remarriage in India. Many of the girls were pushed to marry in childhood and widowed after the deaths of their much older husbands. The Hindu Widows Remarriage Act was enacted on 25th July 1856. Vidya Sagar also strived to promote education for girls and staunchly opposed child marriage as well as polygamy. His ideas, radical at the time, were opposed by Orthodox Hindus. Besides his contribution to social reforms in India, Vidya Sagar was a notable writer considered the father of Bengali prose. His works are celebrated to this day. In 1932, on this day, another reformer was born, albeit one who introduced changes for the Indian economy, setting India on a path of high growth. Former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was born on this day, in 1932. He was a finance minister in the cabinet of Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao and both leaders are credited with introducing a game-changing new industrial policy, removing many roadblocks that hindered industries from flourishing. On 24 July 1991, Finance Minister Manmohan Singh presented his first ever budget, averting an economic crisis. Singh became the Prime Minister after the United Progressive Alliance came to power in 2004. He is often labelled a puppet Prime Minister by the opposition. However, Manmohan Singh has had an illustrious career as a professor and served in various important roles in the government over the years and is regarded as one of the finest and most qualified leaders of his time. On this day in 1960, the US presidential debate was televised for the first time in history. The presidential hopefuls John F. Kennedy, a Democratic Senator of Massachusetts, and Richard M. Nixon, the Vice President of the United States, met in a Chicago studio and faced off on U.S. domestic matters. There were a series of four televised presidential debates. On the fourth and final one, on October 21st, the two leaders discussed foreign affairs. It is said Kennedy was more comfortable before the camera on the first day. Nixon warmed up slowly. Presidential debates were abandoned for a few years until in 1976 they made a comeback for good. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.